I'm Sumit Jandel for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We've recently announced the general availability of Firestore multiple databases, which lets you manage multiple Firestore databases within a single Google Cloud project, enhancing your data separation, security, resource management, and cost tracking. With this milestone, multiple databases are now fully supported in the Google Cloud Console, Terraform resources, and all of Firestore's SDKs. And before you ask, yes, support for managing multiple Firestore databases is coming to the Firebase console too in the near future. Check out the post for instructions on getting started with multiple Firestore databases. Go 1.22 is now released and available for you to download today. The Go 1.22 release includes a few notable changes. First, language changes like the for loop gotcha that accidentally shared loop variables between iterations, which is now resolved, and support for ranging over integers. Go 1.22 also includes improved performance like memory optimization in the Go runtime improved by 1 to 3%, while reducing memory overhead of most Go programs by 1%. Finally, there are also some new standard library additions available for you to use like a cleaner and more consistent API in a new MathRan v2 package and more. Check out the post to see the full details for this release and the link to download and try it out. Graph neural networks have emerged as a powerful technique to leverage both a graph's connectivity and the input features on the various nodes and edges composing the graph. This week, we are excited to announce the release of TensorFlow GNN 1.0, a production tested library for building graph neural networks at large scales. It supports both modeling and training in TensorFlow, as well as the extraction of input graphs from huge data stores, so you can do cool things like predicting molecule reactions or predicting the topic of a research paper given its citations. Take a look at an example that uses TensorFlow GNN for just this use case by checking out the post and to learn all about building GNN architectures and getting started with our CoLab demo. The AI world moves fast, and we've been hard at work keeping security apace with recent advancements. Now, you can do the same for your own projects using our recently announced LLM-powered fuzzing framework, which can not only help with an AI-powered vulnerability discovery in your code, but AI-powered vulnerability fixing too. Try it out for yourself by checking the post for the links to the open source framework repo and a paper on how we built an AI-powered patching pipeline. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Samit Jandel for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.